Hello everyone, welcome to the September 2018 Happy Mail Haul. These are cards that you guys have created and sent to my P.O. Box. As always, there will be info in the description box for the video, as well as on my blog. On my blog, it's very easy to see the address, the info, etc, etc, etc. So I highly recommend checking it out. So, let's get right into it. Like I always mention, we do themes every month. However, I'm never a stickler on them because a lot of you are international and I'm in Canada. So things can take a while to get to me. So some of the things, most of this is on theme this month. The mail's been pretty good. There's a couple from last month as well, just kind of sprinkled throughout. So yeah, all the info, like I said, is in the description box below. So the first one is from Sabine and she used the Honey Bee coffee cup wafer dye that I absolutely love. Um, if, I, if I remember, I'll do up some links for some of the things I like, you know, recognize and whatnot. But yeah, and then it's got um, coffee time on the wrap. I really like how they're like stamped and like emboss resist. So cute. So cute. Love it. This is one of my favorite dyes. I've done a couple of videos using this one. So that one's from Sabine. And then I've got this one from Kathy with this fun stacked sentiment. Super cute little image. I think, is this a gorgeous girl? I think it's a gorgeous girl. So yeah, really cute. Oh, and little pink hearts in the background. So subtle, but so cute. So that one was from Kathy. And then I have two cards from Cindy in Quebec. And I think one was for technically last month. This is September's Happy Mail haul. Yes, this one was for the August, okay. So this was for August Happy Mail haul, and I love how she did the envelope. So nice. I would have never thought to like add a separate die cut like that. It came through the mail perfectly. I love the pattern paper, and this card is absolutely adorable. These are long fun images. I'm waiting. Speaking of like USPS and Canada Post, I have some like a whole bunch of lawn fun on order, and it's just. USPS in Chicago has been holding on to it for 10 days. Oh, anyway. Anyway, really cute, really cute. Does this one open? No, it's just popped up. So we've got this like adorable, oh yeah, it does too, ha! Happy fall, how cute is that? Love. And then the inside's all done. And I have a little knife I've carved out, you know, times they have. And even the back, well done. So much work went into this. I just love it. So there's that one. And then this one is for the September Happy Mail haul, which was, <laughs> I did it as like beverage themed and pretty much all of you went with coffee, which I'm, I'm not complaining. You all know I love coffee. I just, I got a kick out of that because I tried to keep it like open and it's, you know, not everyone loves coffee, but I think all of you did coffee themed. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, this is, this was last year's Stamp Timber, the Greeting Farm set. I recognized that one immediately and it was heat embossed onto the wood grain envelope, which I love. So cute. So yeah, pumpkin spice it up. Love the fall colors. Okay, this one is from Rosalie in Germany. So yeah, really cute Halloween. I really like this background scene you did and then these die cuts in silhouette. So cute and a really cute little character. The rest of the card really clean and simple. I really like that. So yeah, all the way from Germany, love. And then we've got this one from Sally, another fun Halloween theme. We've got some sequins and a fun little cat and happy Halloween going on. I like the dry embossing. Get some texture going on in there, love. So got that one. And then I've got these ones from Indra in Singapore. So a really fun shaker card. I, kinda, I really like the idea of doing it with vellum. Instead of like, it's just habit for me to do like a clear transparency when I do shaker. So yeah, I really like that. It just gives it something else. And then yeah, all these little fun die cuts, like just a really fun card. So we've got that one. And then the second one is just some fun little like sky scene with the owl. So cute. Like same die cut here, this happy Halloween one. Just really fun. So cute. So we've got that one, and then we've got this one from Stephanie, also in Germany. 
So we've got this really cute, and again, I like how she did the envelope with the coffee rings. And I also just randomly, I really like German postage stamps. You guys get some really cute postage stamps. I'm jealous. I'm really jealous. Anyway, so we've got that. And then I love how she used little monsters for her. So yeah, coffee. Um, coffee is a monster hug in a mug. Like, isn't that cute? So cute. Love it. So we've got that one. And then this one is from Eileen. So Mylene. Mylene. I like when, <laughs> I like when you guys will explain that. I remember I have had issues in past Happy Mail Haul videos with me not being able to pronounce names to save my life. So including that, especially if you have a like quirky name that's more difficult to pronounce, that helps. So I have Mylene. In um, the US, in the U.S., but I think you said you're from Brazil. So yeah, really cute, very pastel card, which I think is just fun with the coffee themes. Yeah, having need having a need caffeine kind of day. Yeah, I am. And then a the little like character on the inside sleeping. So cute. And same thing. U.S. postage stamps. You guys get all the good ones. Like. Canadian postage stamps are nowhere near as fun as everyone else's. Like, ours are generally pretty basic. We get a few nice ones every once in a while, but nothing compared to the fun ones you get in the States. So, just my little rant. Anyway, so we've got that one. And then this one from Allison with these cute little bears. And then this adorable envelope with the flap stamped with coffee theme. See, I hope this perks you up. What a cute so cute you guys and your cards are just get so much inspiration I just love it so we've got that one and then we've got this one is from Lena in Finland and at first I was like you are because I didn't notice the dots and I'm like you are T I don't I don't understand oi but then you are dot 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 and then, yeah, honey in my tea. How cute is that? And it's a little, like it's a shadow card. I said, I think it was my last Happy Meal Haul video, someone else had sent me one and I was like, I need to make, like actually make these. They're very simple to make, but they give such a punch to your card when you open it up. Isn't that fun? I need, I need to, I need to do a couple of videos on these cause they're just, they're just fun. So yeah, you were honey in my tea. So that's really cute. And then coordinate a little envelope. Really cute. So it was from Lena in Finland. And then last, but certainly not least, was this really cute one from Ginger. And I say this all the time, gifts are not necessary at all. Um, but yeah, like if you guys want to send things, that's fine. <laughs> Side note, and this is not a hint, I'm just saying, it's just funny. Um, Chris is really, he always like, he watches my videos and I send him pictures a lot of times when I'm filming these and like showing like look what you know so and so sent from Finland, Germany, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the last few times he's like, has anyone sent you chocolate? You know, because some of you international people have sent those great big huge chocolate bars and whatever. And I just kind of laughed. I'm like, really? And he's like, what? <laughs> you know? So yeah, he was enjoying the perks of the gifts, but totally 100% not necessary. I just like showing off what you guys are making. So anyway, back to things at hand. So this fun like really big tag. I really like that. And it was tied around these really fun. At first I was like when I opened the package all I could see was this and I was like I, I don't get it. But then yeah coffee and magical substance that turns leave me alone or die. Good morning honey. <laughs> so actually I'm gonna keep these in my studio here because I usually do have a coffee you know or um you know big glass of water etc when I'm working. So, and I like to, especially my big glass of water gets a lot of condensation sometimes, and I have wrecked cardstock with it. So I'm gonna keep these in my suit. These will actually come in handy, so thank you. They're going to be very handy. And the other little thing was this fun little um, notebook, which says life begins after coffee. And yeah, coffee has great friends, coffee a hug and a mug, and then just, they're just little like notes. Um, coffee because adulting is hard. And these will actually come in really handy too, because I'm always using like, sticky notes to keep notes for my supply list, etc., that sort of thing. So this actually is, again, very, very handy. It's magnetic. You can totally make these. I've seen people make, you know, put your own like pack of sticky notes and then you just do cardstock because it's, it's pretty basic. You know, you can score, do a decorative die, get a little magnet if you want it. You can um, insert one onto the inside and then it'll stay closed. So 
really cute. I've seen people make these, but this is really cute. So thank you. And then last but not least is um, the card. I drank so much wine last night when I walked across the dance floor to get another glass. To get another glass, I won the dance competition. That would not be me. I am not a coordinated person by any means. So yeah. And then this fun, oh, I like the, the envelope with the gold lining. Really fun. So yeah, that was September's Happy Mill Hall. Huge thank you to all of you that sent something in. For those watching, please leave some love in the comment section below the video, as well as if you have any questions about anything, etc. Feel free to ask the questions in the comment section and those that made them will hopefully see it. Like hopefully see your nice comments and hopefully see your questions and they can answer them if they need to. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to send in the cards, to leave comments and watch, etc. Love it. And then, as always, huge, huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon. There will be a link to my Patreon page. Um, it's in the description box below with all of my, of all of my videos. Huge thanks to you, to my top tier ones that I list, as well as to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing as well. So again, thank you. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to include. I'll include a lot of people ask, what do I do with the cards that are sent to me? Um, because the whole time I was in the rental before I moved, I couldn't put things on the wall. I had nowhere to put anything. So I would kind of like put a few on display, but it was really difficult. I finally got my first little card display put up and I put it up crooked. But anyway, I'll insert footage of it here. I think I should be able to figure out how to show this like with my voiceover still going. But yeah, and I'll, I'll link to that. It's by Umbra. I've literally had that sitting in my office for three plus years now. I got it, I think three years ago. So I was so excited to finally put it up, started putting more cards on it. And then I'll be able, I'm going to actually probably get a couple more down the road so I can have a big, tall um, display on that part of the wall there. And then I can have like tons of your guys' cards and then can like rotate them, etc. So super fun. Love it. So that's what I do with the cards that are sent. I like to put them on display so that everyone can see them and rotate them out, etc. And yeah, as always. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my viewers. Thank you to those that send things in. Thank you to those that leave comments. Thank you to those that just watch, thumbs up, subscribe. You guys are all amazing. So that is it from me for the moment. I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded for you guys. Then I'm gonna to get to work on some more card making videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.